Good morning. Today we're going to learn about geometric multiplication. And I'm going to show the problem 246 squared. So the children know that 246 squared means 246 times 246. So I'll show you what that looks like. So of course we use our colored pegs and I'm going to get two hundreds and we need four tens, tens are blue, and six units, units are green. <clears throat> Here's my six units. So we're going to make the first leg of our problem and the leg goes horizontally. So I'll just start it anywhere in the middle, sort of. So here is my two hundreds. I don't know if you can see, I just placed them in the holes. Four tens. <clears throat> Now I'm going to make the vertical leg of the same problem. Two hundreds, four tens, <clears throat> and six units. Although I'm only gonna get five units because they will be sharing this sixth. So I'm going to build up from my units to create my square. <clears throat> Oops, there is my six by six. Now I will continue on with my tens. And my hundreds. So now you can see we have 200 46 times 246. So I will begin filling in my units. <clears throat> the fun thing to do with um, the children when I'm doing this is to ask them if they can predict how many beads we will need to complete this square. And they are so good now. They're able to see, oh, it's six on one side and six on the other. Well, six times six is 36. <clears throat> and they all know the little song to find their squares. Six times six is 36. Pretend to do some juggling tricks. The area of a square that's six by six is 36. We have a little fun song for each of the squares, and they love to sing it. <clears throat> I'm completing my square of units, units times units. You get units. Now I need to complete my rectangles. So you can see I'm going to have a rectangle here and a rectangle here. So again, I would ask the question, what size do you think the rectangle will be? And they will look at this four by six. This is where knowing their multiples comes in handy. Four times six is 24. So this rectangle <clears throat> we'll have 24 beads or pegs. And there's the last one there. But what I do over here, I gotta do over here. <clears throat> 
and then if I ask the question again, okay, friends, what will the area be for this rectangle? They should remember that if you have four times six over here, and you can see that this is also four times six, that it will also be 24. completes our blue rectangles. Now, our reds are hundreds. Hundreds times units are hundreds. We build our hundreds rectangle and it is a two by six. So we're multiplying two hundreds by six. But we have to do it twice. 200 by 6. So that means we will have 12 red pegs on either side of our square. That. Well, now we're getting into the fun part. <clears throat> tens times tens gives us hundreds. So in this square, we will have hundreds. And this square will be a perfect square. It will be a four by four square. You can see, because it goes four by four. And we know, because of our song, four times four, that makes 16. So cluck like a chicken, if you know what I mean. The area of a square that's four by four is 16. Okay, there's our four by four square. Now <clears throat> we're going to do hundreds times tens, and that equals thousands. So here comes another pattern. Thousands are green and we've got two by four making up the rectangles here. So that means we only need eight. What we do on one side we have to do to the other. So here's two by four. We don't go past the four. We don't want to bleed over into this area. Okay, so now we're going to do hundreds times hundreds. <clears throat> and that gives us ten thousands. And our last square is a square of four. And you can see that we have a square here, a square here, and a square here. So our diagonals have the squares while the, the sides are the rectangles. And that's how you do geometric multiplication. <clears throat>